what is up everyone jk here and welcome back to the channel today we will be trying um mr giant 4.0 so this is a game that is focused on building production lines more like uh very similar to transport fever 2 so this is the demo uh, it is available on steam if you want to play or try it right now this is just the demo so the maps are small the map is smaller so there are also less um features that is uh usable also this is a very limited uh tutorial that's only available so i think it's like covering three production chain uh we'll be trying this one today and hopefully um we can play this in the future i believe this game will be available as, as mentioned available on october 24 so that's around a week and a half from now so uh i played this tutorial uh the first one that i recorded was um the audio was not good so i had to redo it. let's go for uh jk logistics jk logistics here do everything the map the tutorial map is just a three by three map but or as i know you can play up 200 kilometers squared or 100 by 100 kilometers i'm not sure um but this is a smaller smaller map than the map you can play when you purchase this the difficulty is medium everything is just set at default and let's start okay here we are in the game so there are a lot of things that i won't be going over everything we'll just follow the tutorial but just know this is your tools so this is part of the tutorial welcome one then as you can see here this is just the movement so every time you are clicking on something changes so for example you want to build something it shows you to move things around if we take a look at the map um we have here areas where you can or areas that are um allowing things to grow so for example here in the forest zones in the one that's only where you can place your forest zones uh here are the map zone right so to start um we want to create a farm so if we take a look at rudolphing click rudolphing and click on the demand you can see here that they are looking for unpacked fruit packed vegetables they also want to have a hardware store with wood shaving to do that we can follow the tutorial so first we can build a farm as you can see when you click a on the building um it only shows you a place where you can build it so and as i've mentioned this is or these are the buttons so you can rotate things so for now i'm farm something like that this is the uh time button so you can so buildings start working or on building this is your farm now we want have productions on our farm so you can click on the farm go to production and then we can place the field so this will be the fields that is that will be for um our fruits here three four and five so those are five farms now we want to have a production line so we one now here is the area where we can choose what we produce on this five farm plot okay so first we want unpacked fruit okay we are producing 2000 unpacked fruit tutorial is showing that 1200 is enough you can either use the slider or edit this through um hard coding okay that should be good okay now we want a grocery store in town so in order to have a grocery or you can go to build then we can put a grocery store somewhere near this small town okay now what i'm thinking is putting just here since this is closer to our farm so what will happen is we'll have vehicles transporting groceries to this area or to this grocery i think we here right that's our grocery now before we can transport our produce here for grocery we want to create a depot so the depot is uh, a place where your vehicles are parked so very similar to transport fever as i've mentioned you can put your 
depot here. Okay. Now, the depot is where, as I've mentioned, you can place your uh, vehicles, so trucks and like that. Now, this is also a place where you can buy your V. So, on, so first, we want to make sure that everything is connected by road. So, that is connected by road as well as our oh, and our farm. Our farm is connected, right? This plot doesn't have to be connected, just the farm. Now we want to buy press L and L. So first thing we need to create a road line. So in order to create a line or a, uh, a production line, and click on the depot first, and then the first stop will be the farm, right? So we will be picking up fruits here. Then we can pick up or create another up and then click the groceries basically the first stop is our loading foods we are unloading on the grocery that is line now after doing that so we now have our first line right so the first line is picking up fruits from the farm the grocery now what we want to have is have need vehicles you have to purchase a vehicle so at the moment we don't have any you can choose the depot so this is the first three of the truck depot tutorial says for to get six trucks but i'm going for more than that we're going for 18. uh choose the type of vehicle and probably go for the fastest one this would cost us around 1 million. I have 25 million. Good. After doing that, let's see what the tutorial uh, says. This tutorial is not moving forward if you don't have the unpause. Just do that if you're stuck. Um, I created, I tried to create a road here uh, that costs us a bit of money, but that road cutting through the terrain, following whatever it wants to follow. Okay, so at the moment we're just waiting for the trucks to be delivered. Then once the trucks are delivered, I believe start transporting goods from here to grocery. Now what I did this game is I like I actually like the graphics. The texture is good. There are grass, right? Also the terrain is just sometimes it's a little clunk. Um I hope there are ways uh, to edit the terrain and stuff like that, but uh this is just the demo. So I'm not sure if that will that is in the early access. Now that we have our trucks, we want a second production in our farm. Should buy another production line, and we will place fields. I'm thinking we just place fields along this. Place fields along here. And then. so now we want vegetable. Okay. Oh, so it's saying here that set up a, a transport line. So set add a second production line. So did that already. Set up the new vegetable production line. Packed vegetable. Then set up a transport line. So we transport line. So press L. Select the depot, so this 
add a stop pick up here pick up the vegetable and then drop the vegetable the grocery shop to load and unload so don't forget to click load and unload this should be good okay so that uh, completes the tutorial part of the arm so as we can see here your vehicles are going to the farm get the products that we need in order for us to or in order for the products to be sold to the people right so this truck take a look at the storage doesn't have anything in it. so maybe it's just because um production is still not going so, um we don't have anything here. i think just um the timing issue the truck isn't carrying anything so i think we're good on that now we will focus on the logging camp let's build a log let's not pause the game want a logging camp so a logging camp put here so the, there are only areas in the map as i found and mainly focused on this side what i'm thinking have a um have the build this side okay then we want a sawmill maybe a bit like that. right so if we take a look at the sawmill here you can see that there is a road connection and there is a rail connect we'll go about that in the next parts of this video have placed oh so after placing the logic camp we need three forest stones so let's build one it doesn't have to be close to one i just don't like that um the building editing the terrain like that creating some jaggedy terrain i can see the skylines but that's good now after creating that we want to put the production to wood all right so that's producing wood now now we want a train so uh, before we do that i want for that these buildings are connected to roads okay so this first part when creating a road right for um essentially not yet create connecting it but you can slowly Connect it like that. There is another here. Okay, like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty okay. And we want a road connected. This. Now there are two ways to create a road. So this one it forces the terrain to follow the road, but you can also click shift and creating a road terrain adjusts to the road. Uh, next one that we want is depot. Want a train depot. I'm thinking maybe since the trains are going that direction. Facing direction so that the rail can connect to that. This. This need a road. I, I didn't see any road connection required. So I don't think that is dead. So what we want is we want this. That. Okay. What I'm thinking is this two other little longer. Yeah, right? So that and then that is connected here. This one go down here so that is creating some um, here see we can cross the road now the train to follow the terrain here so if we take a look it's just a little wonky but that train line will follow that up to the sawmill then the train depot 
Okay, so in the train depot, we want to buy a train. So same as the one that we did with the trucks. Click on the train depot. Choose the train. Making the faster train again. Is it and then maybe just six. That will be transported to Po. Last thing that we want to do, we want a rail line. Select the depot. Then the first stop should be this. So this is producing wood. Right? So we take that wood, load it to the train, then drop it to the sawmill. Load the wood and drop it. Okay. Now, the other thing that we need, we want to click on the and we want to add a production. Production should be wood shavings, right? So set the sawmill to wood shavings and pick uh, that the scope. This should be start producing wood shavings from wood. So once the train arrives, the train will start transporting that this one. Now the new thing that uh, we have a uh, we have access to a hardware store. Hardware store is like normal, right? We can buy tools there. Okay. So those those wood shavings would hold hardware store. So what I'm thinking maybe create a hardware store maybe this area that automatically the roads I think that although it deleted one house here that is where our wood shavings would okay so now want a truck transport line to pick up the wood shaving the hardware before we do that I trains are already here the trains are still not here so let's just wait for a bit so that they can start transporting those wood to our sawmill and then we can already build stuff in the or transport stuff there you go the trains are here the trains will go out and go to the logging camp then pick up wood here so as you can see here there's 500 wood there capacity of this train is 100 hopefully we'll see oh only 39 i'm not sure why there are 500 there so happen and dropped off here okay now after doing uh, after that happened there should this should be uh, this should appear right so the 39 is here and this building should start producing the wood shape okay that's, that's 100 you get the point now let's add a road connection select the depot that we have so the truck depot then our first stop should be stop sawmill want to pick up wood shavings then we want to drop it off on hardware store load drop good now the last thing that this tutorial shows us that we can start processing those food that we have so currently we are only um, producing unpacked vegetables and unpacked, unpacked vegetables and unpacked fruits right so now we want food processing plant processing plant is a place where the food that we are producing can be packed or transformed into other things place it here now I also want to have a road come down here just because I think it's just easier for the trucks to come here and then go down the grocery uh, to the grocery I think that is road to create instead of going up going down so we want to add so based on the tutorial we want to add sawmill uh, another production add a close that one 
want to add another production, we want wooden planks. Planks here. Okay. Now this should also produce planks. After doing that, we want to add, we want to split this. In order to split the production line, we can arrows above. Like that. Part of production line. Carton. Our cartons will be two package uh, fruits and vegetables. Good. Now we want a truck. And again, to transfer those cartons to the food processing plant. So at line. Click the depot. So want to click this depot. And wanna add stops. So the first stop is sawmill. Get the carton. Second stop is the food processing plant. Right? Load the cartons and then drop it off. Okay. Set up a truck line to transport the unpacked fruits and vegetables from our farm. Want to transport the fruits and vegetables from farm to the food processing. So this is just a repetitive cycle that you want to use just to ensure that your production line is fluid. Everything is the first one we want. Want vegetables, then drop it off, and that just forget to update this load and unload. There is a option to that means that when you are Coming here, you're loading, right? And then keep the load instead of dropping it. Okay, so good. So now that that is set up, so the fruit and vegetable from the farm should also be transported to the fruit processing plant. And the fruit processing plant can now produce or uh, to produce the uh, uh, packed fruit and vegetable. Here, the as you can see here when shoot production line, right? See that a packed fruit needs one carton that produces fruit. Now this one is the fruit you want to select. Okay. Now the last thing that we need is we want trucks, right? We want our packed fruits and vegetables to be transported to the growth so that it can be sold to the people. So Let's do that again. Oh, pick this one. Pack fruit, pack veg, and then drop it off here. Load the pack fruit and vegetable. Drop it. Okay. Nice work. You have successfully set up all production lines. So, uh, that is it. That's the entire tutorial, and that is the only. Uh, that those are the only contents that are available during demo but i would say that it shows a lot of promise i like i like the gameplay it plays uh, a lot like transport fever with all the trucks and it was in just you know, pre uh, putting resources and then moving it from one place to another to create this next level of goods right to satisfy your population so you can see as you can see here there is a last one that we want uh, that is um has tools here in transporting and sell three specific goods he we won't be doing that but as you can see here it was 75 earlier meaning that the city is slowly growing because we are providing them the materials and the things that they need but there's still a lot again with this although these are as i've mentioned these are the only that are available right yeah uh, i would say it's the graphics looks good i would say it's really uh, i really like how the game looks um the vehicles i like the way they move and the models it's also same it's also very similar to transfer fever those are the things that I like. I also like that 
uh, the farms grow things. It's, it's not like once you plop them down, it's already there. Things grow. And it takes time to grow your business. Um, in the, right? Uh, also, don't forget to remember that this is a smaller version of the map. This is a 9 km square. If you can play up to 100 km squared, so that's like more than 10 times the size of this one. So that gives you a lot. And then I believe when it comes to the industry, there are a bunch, I think 80, up to 80 industries or 80 products and services and whatever. So it's a really good game. Before we end, I, I would like to look at the train again. I really like the aesthetic of the If we can just find one train here going down. Are there any trains coming down? Um, but yeah, well, we're waiting for the train. Uh, okay, there you go. I would like to suggest checking this out. It's free to play on Steam right now. Is demo is free to play. It will be available on October 24th. And quite fun. Please check it out. And I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.